guys, Kimmis, along with Buckshot from Meanwhile in the Man Cave. And we've been off the air for a little while here, but we are back. We're back with a bang, because today we are doing the Masters of the Universe Skeletor Life-Size Bus by Tweeterhead. Now, this is like, a, it looks like it's 295 and 1000. This thing looks pretty awesome. They uh, unveiled it at, uh, I think, uh, San Diego Comic Con. I think it was oh. there. So, all right. Without further ado, we're gonna pop this thing open. It's very heavy. The box is huge. It's my hand. <laughs> Just to give you an idea. All right. So we're gonna cut this thing open and get it going. This is boxes inside boxes. Yes, boxception. Oh, that was. Let's see what this is. It's a little envelope. Oh, it's probably going to say, like, thank you. <laughs> Oh, no, it's just saying. Certificate of Authenticity for Skeletor Legends 1 to 1 bust. Masters of the Universe. And. Nothing on the back. Blank. Okay, well, there we go. Woo woo. <laughs> no number on it or anything on this part. So, let's be on the item itself once we get in here. Oh God! I don't know how we're gonna get this out on the counter. It's gonna be heavy. Yep. All right. Well, we're gonna cut away a little bit, and then we're gonna try to get this out. There it goes. Oh man, that is ginormous. Man. I can see it. This thing is very heavy. Man, we should have probably opened it the other way. Yeah. Okay, so look at it. All right. Oh, wow. Armor is in pieces here. <laughs> so we're going to get pieces of armor. Jeez. Very heavy. Wow. Wow. It's very nice. So wow. His shoulder armor, it looks like. And this is heavy. <laughs> yep. How heavy? Feel it. Oh, my God. Yep. It's so hot, too. Yeah. Oh, it's, been it's probably because it's been in the garage the whole time. Yeah, but well, we can wait to it. So, all right. Put that on the counter, I guess. Yeah, well, I'll just sit down <laughs> for right now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Get the other piece out. Probably the same, but just yeah, opposite. Opposite side. Fantastic. Again, very intricate work on here. Yeah. Looks like real metal. <laughs> yeah, it is made of a polystone, I believe. So, these are obviously where you would attach it. Mm -hmm. All right, let me set this one down. Oh my god. I think it itself looks very big. Yeah. Let's get our old pal Skelly out of here. Oh my god. At first glance, he looked like a scarecrow. Oh my god, it's so loud. Here we go to reveal it. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be tricky. Holy cow. This thing is heavy. It is really heavy. Uh, Need my help? Oh my ears. <laughs> oh, that will walk. That's hoods down. See that. Okay. Oh, oh god. That is big. Oh god. 
So it's going to definitely be a face reveal. Face reveal. Face reveal. Alright. Well, get him out. This thing is extremely heavy. Now we're going to do the face reveal. <laughs> Man, it's teeth. Oh my wow. god. That's pretty, that's pretty dope actually. Now there's a wire in this hood. There is? Yep. So they kind of help pose it. Oh. It's, just, it's glowing. I know, yeah, it looks like it glows in the dark. Well, it can't be, but it kind of looks like it is. Unless it. Does the whole hood come down? Oh, there's something in his HUD. Uh, it's styrofoam, I think. Yeah, you're right, there is there's some styrofoam in there. To keep it up. Oh, and yeah, it could be in there all the time, or it couldn't. Yeah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna just leave it. Yeah, yeah probably go better. Let's see. For now, we'll play around with it. Yeah. Wow. That's that pretty, is. That's pretty nice. Man. Alright, the whole hood down. We'll pull the hood down so you can actually see. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off. He looks pretty sinister. The teeth, though. Yeah. Oh, God. Wow. All right, so we're going to put on his... Yeah, his shoulders. Now, actually, I think... Isn't there supposed to be a cape? There is? I think uh, so. I didn't see one in the box. Yeah, I didn't either. I mean, unless it's, like, in... Unless we left it in the box. And that's like the capes on his back. Yeah. Like we have to pull it out or something. Out of his head. Oh, yeah. right. So I figure it must be in this little compartment right here. It's got to cut those two slabs and it would be in there. Yeah. Thank God we never threw this away. Yeah. We would have missed out. Looks like a battery compartment. Yeah, with those normal batteries <laughs> like that. And yeah. There it is. Why'd they make it so hidden? Well, I guess just smart storage. And how big it is. There you go. Eh, small legs, yeah, I suspected. It's only, yeah, it's only his shoulders, so. Oh, well, just for his shoulders, yeah, okay. He's not full size, so. Let me move back over here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, and you see how it would go on. Oh, so those two. Oh. Yeah. So. Here, and, and you'd have you to put them in. Put the pegs in. The pegs in. Yeah, right. right. Probably anyway, gonna have to help you with this. Yeah. So once we do it, but anyway, in the meantime, before we get that on, let's let's spin him around a little bit. Get some yeah. Little angles. Oh there. my god. So, it's like oh. little. Oh my god. Yeah. Hey, there's cracks everywhere. Yep. Oh, and man. The skull. The teeth. The the teeth is the only thing that disturbs me. <laughs> around to his back. Ugh. It, I, I couldn't even tell you how. This thing is really heavy. Look at his hood. Oh, wow. It's like a dragon on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, so you see his wings out here, the head, and the body. Yeah. Good eye there. The base is also very nice. I like. Yep. It looks like it's, it's like lava. Pretty, pretty darn cool. Yeah. The spikes. <laughs> yeah. Up on the heel. Pretty wild. So far, this is really impressive. Really impressive. Yeah. All right. Now you can have the option of not having the cape on him. I think mm -hmm. I am going to display him with his cape. Yeah. Him. So let's get him turned around. Now there is rubber on the base. I can feel it because it's really hard to turn him unless you lift it a little bit. But this guy is heavy. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, I guess what we're going to do now is we're going to put the cape on him and put his shoulder pads on. Now, these have some flexibility to them, it looks like, so you can slip the armor up underneath. There is no directions with this. Yes. I mean... Not that you should yeah. really need them that bad, but... There's only two pe three pieces, actually. Yeah. But... Should go I've like. seen stuff with less stuff to do that has directions, though. 
should go up under here, here. Maybe. There it is. There it goes. Oh, that looks nice. And it slides in place. So just so you can kind of see what it would look like if you didn't have his, the cape itself on there. If you're a Masters of the Universe fan, this is definitely a must-have. It is impressive. Tweeter had really hit it, really hit it out of the park when they made this thing. All right. So what I'm going to do next, um, we're going to kind of get away out to have Buckshot help me uh, place this cape on him, and then we're going to show you what it looks like. And here he is with the chest armor on, I mean with the shoulder armor on and his cape on. I love it. I really do. This is a really, it's a massive bust though, so make sure you have the space for this. I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna dominate your shelf because just the shoulder width with the armor, the height, probably somewhere is in the 28 inch area, probably. Um, in fact, let me get a tape measure and we'll, uh, all right, so we got a tape measure. So from the base all the way to the top, probably to a peak of his, you know, his hood. We have it puffed out a little bit, right around 29 inches. Man. And then if you're talking wide, oh, it's about the same wide. So wow. he's equally as wide as he is tall. So this is a <laughs> massive, massive beef and it is heavy. So keep that in mind. Um, it is going. You're not going to set this on a glass shelf. <laughs> it just unless collapsed. you just want it to collapse all the way down. So we'll get this a spin for you, kind of a final, kind of we'll do a little final spin around here, you know, just to get you one last look at it. Yeah, this is. If you are a Masters of the Universe fan or a Skeletor fan. Don't wait, jump all over this. It's definitely <laughs> worth it. The only way it could have been even cooler if they'd uh, put a battery in it so his eyes would light up. Anyway, I want to thank you all for tuning in. Catch you guys next time on Mean Ryan the Man Cave. Talk to you guys later.